Hey, this is a mini vlog for dissecting Tom Petty and the Heartbreaker song, I Won't Back Down. We're gonna pick the part, pick apart the song and see what makes it tick. First step is I'm gonna search I Won't Back Down lyrics. Just gonna Google that. And sorry, not I Won't Back Down lyrics. I don't mind so much about the lyrics, but I wanna find the chords. So I'm gonna search the chords. And the first hit is Ultimate Guitar. So I'm gonna find here that it looks like it's pretty simple out of the gate. I'm looking at the one that has, version one has over 2,000 ratings and it's five stars, so that's pretty good, close to five stars. So it says it's in the key of G and there are four chords. Let's see if that is right, let's test it. I'm gonna listen to the song on YouTube. That's the first way. A lot of times the chord websites say that it's these chords, but then the key's wrong. So I wanna make sure that the chords are correct and in key with the song. So I always like to go to the artist's official YouTube channel, just because, I don't know, it, someone might have uploaded it at a weird speed and that changes the pitch, so I wanna hear it straight from the source. And this is Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, which is one of the best names ever. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, it's so audacious. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, it's just so, it's awesome, I love it. Anyway, here we go, let's figure it out. So far, it sounds like it's in key. Okay, so that's right. It's in the right key here. So we're gonna play a little bit on the piano. Um, the chords are easy enough on the guitar, and we'll look at that in a sec, but I wanna figure it out on the piano too, and really figuring out the inversion of these chords to have a nice flow, a nice finger movement between the chords. It's D, it's the D major chord after E minor. So the chords are E minor, D major, G major, and C major. And so I'm just figuring out the best progression between those chords right now. That is so good. So, uh, yeah, so it's, it's E minor, D major, to G major. why this song, people listen to it so much, is that one little melody line right there. Okay, the chord, the chorus, is way more involved. <laughs> this is going to take a little bit more to do. Um, this is a guitar song, if you see the video, the Heartbreakers um, like, everybody's playing the guitar. The cool thing about the Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, I need to find this out because I never really knew, but I know Tom Petty was friends with George Harrison, and George Harrison shows up in this video, so he's a heartbreaker. We already knew that, but he's an official heartbreaker, 
And then Ringo Starr is the drummer in this video, at least. I didn't know that he was in the Heartbreakers. I wonder if the Heartbreakers had like a rotational, rotating crew, or if it was just always these guys. I have to find this out. Jeff Lynne, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr were not like part of the band per se. So they were just like, I think they were just friends. Because I know uh, Tom Petty and George Harrison and Jeff Lynne were all in the Traveling Wilburys as well. Um, so I think it was just kind of like a guest appearance in this video. But uh, I actually just found out that Dave Grohl was asked to be the drummer <laughs> in 1994 after he played with them for a few uh, tour dates, which is kind of cool. But, um, and then he went on to form a little band called the Foo Fighters. Um, but anyway, this is kind of cool. So we're going to figure out the chord progression, which is, like I say, a lot more involved. Let's see how that actually sounds. It's one thing to see the chord progression, like on Ultimate Guitar, but then to like hear it in time with the song makes a big difference. than it sounds. Okay, so in the chorus, there's this really cool circle of fifths movement that's going back and forth, and you can hear it, but you can really see it on the keyboard. So when he goes into the, hey baby, it's the, so it's from C to G to D, back to G, C, G, D, and you can see that it's red, orange, is connected to orange and red, so there's a lot of C, G, D, G, C, G, D. Um, so it's the, So because of the circle of fifths motion, all of these chords are closely connected harmonically and that's why this progression sounds so good. kind of sounds cool is that it has that so it's kind of a longing it's the relative minor well let's get into it let's talk why are we using these chords in the first place so the tonic chord is G G major is where the song resolves and so let's kind of figure out what's going on here by getting our bearings by writing the G major scale along the top here so it's G A B C D E F sharp and then it goes back to G. So that's the G major scale. And the chords we have here in this song are, we have E minor and G, D, and C. So let's find homes here. E minor is the minor sixth. Well, we just know it's E minor. Let's figure out what that is. And then we have G right here. D is right here and then C is right there. See how they align with their positions within the key of G. So 
Uh, figuring this out, which mode it is, it could be any of these seven modes. G major is a major one, so it could be Ionian, Lydian, or Mixolydian. C is a major four. It's a major chord, so and it's the fourth position, so it's a major four. So it could be Ionian, Dorian, or Mixolydian. So, so far, it could be either Mixolydian or Ionian. D major is a major five. So it looks like it's Ionian. Could be Lydian, because there's a major five in that mode. So, so far, we're seeing that it's in Ionian. And then E minor is a minor sixth, which is also in Ionian. That happens to be in Lydian as well, and Mixolydian. So, you could say, ah, oh, maybe it's Mixolydian, but because all four chords are in Ionian, it's in the Ionian mode. So the next step then is to figure out, so we know that we're in the key of G major. G Ionian is really just the major, G major. So now we're gonna look at why these chords flow and sound so nicely within the chord progressions of the verse and chorus. I diagrammed out the chord progression. So this is within harmonic space. You have just the different chords arranged by tertiary intervals in this harmonic loop. So G, B, D is the G major chord, B, D, F sharp is the minor three chord, D, F sharp, A is the major five chord, and so on, so just in this harmonic loop. So just referring to each chord by its tonic or by its root note, the chord progression starts with the E minor, and that's why this verse sounds so nice, is because it has this minor kind of haunting sound, and then it goes to uh, the major five, and then back to the major one. So it just kind of loops between those, and then occasionally it goes to this major four chord to add some more variety, but most of the chord progression is between these major chords, the major one, major five, and major four, with a bit of the minor six that keeps it going. Then the chorus is some more harmonic movement, but really it's just all the same chords, but rearranged in a different way. So it's some back and forth between the major four, C major, and the major one, G major. And then it goes up to the D major, major five, back to the tonic G major, and then at the very end, it throws in the E minor chord again. So it's the same four chords, but played in a different order. So I won't back down, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. This is a mini vlog to show kind of what the analysis looks like, though this is all going into a song insight video to really play all of this out, flush it out on both the piano and the guitar. So I'll see you in that video.